Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about order fulfillment. So first, the strategy. As a new business, you have no idea about how well a product would perform in the market. You need to test the concept. So traditionally, if you wanted to start a business, you would have to buy products in bulk before you could sell them. Now this could be very risky as one bad idea could leave you broke, right? You might want to start a certain brand. You might want to invest money in a certain type of product and you don't know how well it will perform, right? You're a new business owner. You don't know much about marketing, about sales. So you don't know if a product will do well. However, back in the day, you'd have to invest all of your money into getting that inventory and many people would invest their life savings into a business that was doomed to fail. Instead, the smarter approach is to do micro experiments, right? This is what we're doing with dropshipping. You want to put advertising into the market to see how customers react to a certain product, right? So if the market likes your product, they will vote with their cash and they will make purchases, right? People will vote with their dollars and then you can invest more money into that business idea. So what is dropshipping? So dropshipping is a fulfillment method that reduces risk. You don't need to buy inventory before you sell products. You sell products first and you only pay for them once your customer pays you. With dropshipping, you don't have to invest money into products, right? You're not risking as much money and you have a lot more, you have a lot more flexibility. You have a lot more agility. As a result, you can test many products without investing a lot of money into them. The only initial investment is marketing. You need to spend money to see how the market reacts to your product. Now, if you're doing TikTok organic, if you're not going to be spending money on marketing, then you don't even have any expenses, right? All you have to do is get the product from Amazon, start making content to see if people like it. Now, the big issue with dropshipping is that the customer experience is fairly poor, right? We're buying from China as it's the biggest manufacturer of consumer goods. And as a result, the shipping times are long and customers are somewhat unhappy waiting that long. However, in the beginning, we're only looking for purchase intent, right? If they like it and we're getting sales, we don't want to stick to China long term. We want to find a way to improve those shipping times once you have a product that people like. So stage one, stage one is dropshipping. In the beginning, you should source products from dropshipping suppliers such as AliExpress. Now AliExpress is the supplier I recommend. They have the largest database of products and it's the cheapest option for beginners. They have a lot of products and they have the best prices and in this game, profit margins matter. That's why I recommend using AliExpress. In the beginning, with AliExpress to most Western countries, the shipping times are between two to four weeks, right? It's not ideal, but it, it's completely fine when you're just testing the product. If you don't want those long shipping times, you can, you can place your first five to 10 orders from AliExpress to see if people are interested in that product. And then you could do a bulk purchase of 20 to 30 units from AliExpress and ship from home. And alternatively, if you want to drop ship with a much better customer experience, so you don't want your customers to have to wait two to four weeks, you can use CJ Dropshipping, Zendrop, Spocket, or USA Drop. These suppliers offer much faster shipping times. However, their prices are much higher. And in this game, profit margins are super important, right? Profit margins are super important. So generally, I would recommend against these suppliers. However, the option is there if you would like. Okay, if you have any questions regarding drop shipping, picking the best supplier, how it works, or anything else regarding order fulfillment, drop a message in the e-commerce general chat and I'll be there to help. Stage two. Stage two is getting a sourcing agent. Once you have three to five daily orders, you can get a sourcing agent in China. Now, if you're at this level, we have an exclusive agent that you can work with. If you want a link to that agent, go to the knowledge hub and there'll be a link in there for a sourcing agent that you can work with. Now, a sourcing agent is a drop shipper who works in China and negotiates with manufacturers to get you the best prices. This obviously depends on the product, but in general, a sourcing agent can be 10 to 20% cheaper than AliExpress. They use fast shipping methods such as Unixpress, which can deliver products to customers within five to 10 days. They can also negotiate with suppliers to, to add custom branding to your orders. So you can have thank you notes, custom packaging, custom bagging, and many more. So they can really improve your overall customer experience and make you seem more like a brand. Now, a sourcing agent is generally your segue into building a genuine brand. That is the goal at the end of the day. You don't want to be dropshipping from China forever. So a sourcing agent helps bridge that gap between dropshipping and building a brand. Stage three, local fulfillment. This is when you're really building a brand. So once you're getting consistent orders, you can legitimize your business and start shipping from your customer's country. When you do this, you'll get fast shipping times of between two to five days. So to do this, you can either buy products in bulk and ship it from home. In addition, you can also hire a warehouse and employees to manage this for you. So this option is always there. I don't recommend it because it's a lot of manual work, but I do recommend is getting a 3PL. A 3PL is a third party logistics center and they will ship orders to your customers. And usually at scale, it will be cheaper 
and less intensive than shipping it yourself. So once you have consistent orders, let's say you've, you have 500 to 1,000 profitable orders, you can order inventory, ship it to the 3PL, and they will ship all your items to your customers within two to five days. This is the best way to have a good customer experience and build a long-term brand that customers want to buy from over and over again. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to pick a niche for your dropshipping store. So the first place to look when it comes to picking a niche is AliExpress. And some quick guidelines on niche selection. I recommend picking a niche that is broad, mass market, scalable with established needs and desires, right? You want to pick a niche that people are buying in all the time so you can really build a long-term business that you can scale. So on AliExpress, all you have to do is go to the homepage and go to the categories here. Now, once you go inside each of these niches, there are sub niches that you can attack. So for example, let's go to beauty, health and hair. So in the beauty and health niche, there are sub niches, right? There's hair weaves, there's makeup, there's personal care, there's massage and relaxation, there's healthcare. In each of these overall niches, there are sub niches. With your store, you want to pick one niche and then pick one sub niche and start attacking that. So for example, if we were doing the, the beauty and health niche, I would go into beauty and health and I would start attacking the healthcare niche, right? You can have multiple collections on your store. You can have, you know, a health collection, a skincare collection, personal care collection. However, the overall store will be a health and beauty store with all of these niches inside it. So that's the best way to really pick a niche. Go through the categories here, pick an overall niche, go inside, pick a sub niche and get started with finding products. The second way to do this is to go on Amazon. Amazon is the largest e-commerce business in the world. Go to the Amazon homepage, go to all, scroll down to shop by department. And as you can see, you have all the main niches here, electronics, beauty and health, you know, pet supplies. So you pick a niche from here. For example, we'll do beauty and health. And in here, you have all the sub niches. So premium beauty, salon and spa, men's grooming, supplements, and so on. So this is another great way to pick a niche if you don't want to use AliExpress.